Got my legal hustle, welcome to the trap. I can blow a stack, bet I make it back. You can hit my line if you need a trap. What's going on, y'all? It's the kid Jay Nolan here. Let's talk about this whole Cardi B lawsuit, man. As y'all know, over Halloween and everything, she put out this photo of her dressed as Marge Simpson with the booty out. You know what I mean? Apparently, that was inspired by an old photo and an old. A painting by Alexandro Palumbo. The photo was spreading online all over the place. You know what I mean? She was being praised left and right for the iconic nature of this photo. However, uh, Alexandro Palumbo does not seem to have the same amount of fervor and uh, fanfare for this photo as everybody else did, all right? Now, he designed this, this portrait back in 2013 as a partnership with Vogue magazine, if I'm not mistaken. And it was basically modeled after this Thierry uh, Mueller dress that was released in 1995. And he basically crafted this image of Marge Simpson, replacing the original model doing the same exact pose. Cardi B then does the same thing almost 10 years later, and he's got a problem with it. So much so that he says, Cardi B and her collaborators have used my artwork without any authorization, debasing its original meaning, and only to amplify their image with a clear commercial purpose that has nothing to do with that path of social awareness that has always characterized my works. Palumbo's lawyer goes on to say, Cardi B has illegitimately appropriated the work of Alexandro Palumbo for mere business purposes in defiance of the most elementary rules on copyright and Instagram policies with the consequent serious risk both of compensation and of discredit for her public image. Now I feel like this some bullshit, man. She didn't sell no records off of this photo. She actually didn't sell anything off of this photo. And more than anything else, it was awareness of your original work that you created back in 2013 because it's the source material. Now, I understand people using your artwork and you do have the right to dictate where it is and isn't used, but she didn't actually use your artwork. She posed as a character. You don't own Marge Simpson, at least not to my knowledge. You don't own the Thierry Mueller dress pictured in the photo not to my knowledge. What makes her photo so much different than the painting that y'all created? Maybe I'm just ignorant. Maybe I don't know what's going on, but somebody in the comments, one of y'all legal professionals, one of y'all folks that really know what's going on with this thing, let me know where I'm wrong here. If I'm tripping, I could see if they shared his art across all of their social media and you say, hey, take that down. That's my original piece. But if somebody poses as a character that you designed, but you don't own. Where's the legality in that? I want to know some of the ramifications that are being missed in this conversation. And you know, this is an interesting thing, man, because photographers and people have been coming out lately with some very interesting claims, man. It's this one guy and he was basically uh, trying to sue celebrities for copyright infringement because he went to their events, took photos of them, and they actually used them on social media and they were being used on different blogs and stuff like that. You're using my image and likeness in the photo. So if I didn't sign off on that, how are you going to retain ownership of my image and likeness because you shot the photo? You know what I'm saying? It's just an interesting dynamic, man. And copyright is a very complex subject to kind of delve into. But like I said, man, if somebody's more knowledgeable about the subject than me, go ahead, drop it down in the comments. Let me know what's up, man. I'm not averse to learning something new. I'm just trying to understand what the legal base that this guy has for this photo. All right. Be sure to like and share this video. Comment down below. Like I said before, hit that subscribe button for all notifications. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right. Much love and respect, y'all. Peace.